Boeing T-7 Red Hawk Advanced Trainer is expected to be ready for a low-rate initial production decision in February 2025, marking a delay of six and a half years since Boeing initially secured the contract in 2018. The revised schedule for the Milestone C initial production decision is up to 14 months later than previously projected, mainly due to safety concerns regarding the ejection seats. However, the Air Force has stated that these concerns, along with other issues, are currently being addressed or will be resolved in the near future. According to the USAF, the delivery of the first production aircraft is not expected until at least December 2025. The extent to which these delays will impact the initial operational capability IOC, remains uncertain. The original target for IOC was 2024, which was later revised to 2026. As a result of the T-7 Red Hawk delays, the Air Force may be compelled to invest in additional life extensions for its aging T-38 trainers, which the T-7 is intended to replace. In the meantime, the Air Force is allocating $125.3 million in FY. 2024 for Pacer Classic 3 structural modifications and avionics upgrades for the existing aircraft. The Air Force intends to procure a minimum of 351 T-7A Red Hawks along with 46 high-fidelity simulators. The total number of aircraft could potentially increase under the USAF's new Uri Forge fighter pilot training plan. Boeing's contract allows for the delivery of up to 475 aircraft. According to a spokesperson from the Air Force, both the Air Force and Boeing express confidence that the recent improvements and testing have resulted in a safe and effective escape system for the T-7. In last year's planning documents, the Air Force allocated $321 million for T-7. 7 production in fiscal year 2024. However, in its recent budget request, the Air Force did not allocate any funding for T-7 production in fiscal year 2024. The schedule for Milestone C has been revised to February 2025, which means that procurement funding for low-rate initial production will not be required in FY 2024, as stated by a spokesperson. At Milestone C, the Undersecretary of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment assesses whether the program has fulfilled its exit criteria from the Engineering and Manufacturing Development EMD phase and is ready for production. Ejection Seat Concerns One of the primary causes of the delay is the concern surrounding the ejection seats. which emerged during numerous ejection seat tests. According to Air Force officials, these tests revealed that Boeing's escape system displayed unsafe deceleration during parachute opening, posing a potential risk of pilots experiencing concussions and losing their visors. However, industry sources have indicated that the crash dummies used by the Air Force may have been improperly instrumented potentially leading to inaccurate results. These sources also mentioned that the Air Force is re-evaluating some of the data related to these tests. Under the original 2018 contract, Boeing was expected to deliver the first five production aircraft in 2023. While most of them are already completed, the seat issue has caused a delay in developmental flight testing, which is now anticipated to commence in September, according to the Air Force spokesperson. Boeing stated last week that it anticipates the start of developmental testing this summer. Boeing encountered issues with the seats last year when they did not perform as expected for pilots at the lower end of the sides and weight spectrum. The T-7 
Seven aircraft is the first in the USAF's fleet to be specifically designed to accommodate pilots of various physical sizes. Previous trainer and fighter aircraft ejection systems were limited to a narrow range of body types, which excluded many potential student pilots, particularly those who were smaller or women. During March budget testimony, Air Force Acquisition Executive Andrew Hunter expressed confidence that recent sled tests conducted with the seats have indicated progress in resolving the ejection-related problems. The spokesperson explained that minor changes to seat logic have already mitigated system risks and improved pilot safety. Furthermore, both the USAF and Boeing are conducting a comprehensive study of ejection seat performance throughout 2023 to identify additional enhancements. Boeing will utilize the results of these tests to make necessary modifications to ensure the seat meets the required safety standards for production. Following a thorough schedule risk assessment, the T-7 program office conducted an exhaustive evaluation and recommended a revised milestone C, date of February 2025. The change is currently pending final coordination. The Air Force does not intend to accelerate testing in order to make up for the lost time. Both the Air Force and Boeing believe that the delays cannot be mitigated through more aggressive flight testing. The planned flight test schedule is already designed to be success-based and ambitious.